Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gillian and today I thought I would share with you a grocery haul. It's been a while since I've filmed one of these just purely because of the lockdown and I've not really felt like I had a big enough shop to do a grocery haul but now things in the shop are finally getting back in stock and things have calmed down a little bit in regards to people not panic buying anymore I thought I would do a haul and it today it's from Sainsbury's and Morrison's. As always this grocery haul is going to be vegan and slimming world friendly so if you want to see what I got then keep on watching. So here is a little overview of everything I got. It's kind of extended further than usual but I think that I was running out of a lot of fresh stuff so I think that's why it's so big looking but we'll go into all the individual things I got in just a little minute. I will go through any ingredients that I have something specific in mind for for my recipes for the week and yeah let's just get straight into it. So I think we'll start from left to right this time. Here we have the Weight Watchers wraps. One of those is your Healthy Extra B on Slimming World. I had to get these in Morrison's because Sainsbury's didn't have them. And then down here from Morrison's I got the little Sweet Baby Peppers. I'm going to make a recipe that's Slimming World friendly hummus and like it's sin free so I've got those and also some extra cucumber that I'm going to use for my hummus for snacks and over here I've got lasagna sheets. I've not had lasagna for a while and I saw a recipe that um, made the white sauce a lot cheaper than what I was buying it for. My other what I eat in a day's had the white sauce from Sainsbury's but it was 2 50 for a small jar and I did end up needing two jars the last time so I thought I would try a different white sauce recipe actually making it myself to save me five pounds. So hopefully it's nice and I'll go into more of the ingredients in a little minute but I just thought I would explain that part to you. I tried to get soy mince but nowhere had it so I've got green lentils instead and I've never tried the ones out of this kind of packaging before so hopefully they are all right. They were the cheapest ones. I've got chives down here for a kind of tofu egg muffin kind of recipe. I'll share the recipes in the description box below but I think that just was for garnish on top but um, I decided to get it anyway. Before we move on any further I forgot to show you guys this. It's upside down. I got this from Sainsbury's Home. I can't remember how much it was but it wasn't cheap. Well, what I think should be cheap for a bacon tray. There was a dearer one that was like £10 something. This was three or four pounds I think. But I really wanted for the egg, the tofu egg muffins, for it to be a deeper muffin tin than what I already have. So I bought this. The tofu things are kind of like crustless quiche. I'm not 100% sure but like I said I'll link the recipe down below. Over here staring you in the face is my big pack of Diet Coke that I always get. £7 for 24 cans. I've seen a better deal but I was in Sainsbury's and that's all they had. I got the last one. My favourite bread, King's Mill Wholemeal No Crusts. You can get three of these for a healthy extra B so I love having this. Alpro strawberry yogurt, I think this is four sins for the entire pot if I'm not mistaken and I never end up using the whole pot at once so it's a good like good value for sins. I wanted to make some kind of vegan meringue eat on mess so I've got plenty of chickpeas in the cupboard, gonna try and make meringues, we'll see how it goes. Add this and fresh strawberries and then We'll see how it is. Uh, I got this from Morrison's. Morrison's was the second shop I went to and I got it from there but I didn't realise I was going to Morrison's till last minute so I'd already got these at Sainsbury's but it's fine because I will use them up. I think this is a sin and a half 
for strawberry raspberry high protein alpro these are really nice and quite thick i got a jar of jalapenos i've got a recipe for mac and cheese sauce that uses some of these in the sauce so i wanted to try that um whole nutmeg is part of the white sauce for the lasagna so i got, had to get that because i didn't have it before pack of mushrooms again for lasagna trying to add as much veg as possible i got a soap because it was the only one that was there and we have ran out of our bathroom soap so i had to get one of these i usually get the vegan cruelty free kind but that's all they had in the shop um, Italian passata with onion and garlic, just the Sainsbury's own brand. I wasn't sure if there was still a limit on those, otherwise I would have got more, but I'd already got my pack of chopped tomatoes, so I didn't want to risk it, so I only got one. Here's something exciting and new that I've not seen before. Fry's brand, which they do amazing sausage rolls and sausages and they have a southern style ch chicken tenders which I thought looked really nice. Something a little bit different from the usual like corn nuggets if it will focus without the glare. Reminded me of what a KFC would be kind of. Just thought I'd give it a try. I don't know how many sins are in it but I assume quite a lot but I'll leave them down here for anyone curious about the sins. Here I've got a box of Otabix flakes. I've never had these before. I saw Debbie Slimming World, I think her username is. I saw she had the red berry version, so I fancied picking up a pack to try for myself. Ryan's going to hate me because we've already got quite a lot of cereal in the cupboard, but I hadn't seen it before and I wanted to try it. Back here I've got my crisps for the week. Well, I'm hoping they will last longer than the week, but I thought I would treat myself to using my sins up at lunchtime with a packet of crisps while I'm at work so that I don't feel like I'm depriving myself. So we've got hula hoops and chipsticks. I'll put the sins here for anybody curious. Down here, two massive cauliflowers. I'm really happy with the size of these because sometimes you get cauliflower for a pound and it's tiny. So I've got two of these for, one is for the white sauce and the other one is just handy to have for curries and stuff like that. Big thing of potatoes, I've been loving baked potatoes for my lunch so I just got more. These are a little bit small but they will do and they will also be able to be chips in the air fryer so plenty of options for those. Down here is my salady bits cherry tomatoes, two big cucumbers like I said I am going to use one of them for dipping in hummus so I thought it'd be safer to get two and round lettuce they didn't have my usual romaine lettuce that the bunnies can have I don't think rabbits can get this one so they're kind of missing out but it will still do me I think it's just it's not got a label but it's just round lettuce I don't want to risk it with the rabbits in case they can't have it because I know that they can only have certain brands of lettuce. Might as well finish back here. I'm scared I missed stuff out because there's so much um, laid out. Celery, again, lasagna. hate celery but it's good to bulk um, things out in recipes. I'm trying this. I previously tried, I think it was actually maybe my last haul, I tried peach and raspberry flavour. Ryan's been drinking it because I wasn't really a fan and I thought I would like it because I like peaches and raspberries but it wasn't for me so I thought I'd give the other one a go. I usually like summer fruits but they didn't have any in the shop so I thought I'll try something new as well so usual black currant double concentrate and then this one is pineapple mango and passion fruit so hopefully i like that one better my two milks i totally ran out of milk which isn't like me i've got oat unsweetened because that's ryan's favorite and i like it as well and then soy light because um, they're my two favorite milks so i just thought i'd get the two of them down here more yogurt i think i went about yogurt mental but i will be able to use them up either as a snack or chuck some fruit in can't remember how many sins these are but I really like the banana and strawberry flavour 
I don't think I managed to try the peach and pear one before they went out of date the last time so I'll need to let you guys know what I think of the peach and pear flavour. Down here, Richmond meat free sausages. I love these, these are my favourite sausages in the entire world. So I decided to get more because I like to freeze them just so that they don't go out of date. I'm trying to see 14th of May, so decent enough, best before date, but I like to freeze them just so I don't need to worry about having to use them all up. Nearly done guys, nearly done. Cheese! I couldn't for weeks get the usual Slimming World cheese. That is my Healthy Extra A. It's either this or the Coco brand. The Coco brand is cheaper, but it's in Holland and Barrett and I don't have one. I don't have access to one. I don't really want to go into the centre, like the shopping centre. One, because I don't know if it's definitely open and two, because I would rather just avoid the shopping centre at all costs. So usually it is cheaper, but I got this one and it's the Daya medium cheddar style farmhouse block. It's really, really good, but I do think it's very expensive for the size. Staple chopped tomatoes. I was running low, didn't want to run out when I knew that, um, when I knew I needed them for a recipe, so I got more. And then last couple of bits, vegan corn chicken slices. I got these to go in the wraps or for sandwiches. And then last but not least, cauldron organic tofu. This is my favourite tofu, mostly because it's widely available where I am and I think it does really well in all the dishes I've tried it in. So, big fan of that. That is not the tofu I'm going to use for the muffin recipe, however, because it said you needed a specific silken tofu brand and people said it didn't work out if they did use other brands so I just wanted to be safe and get the correct brand so I had to order that online because Sainsbury's didn't have it in stock so hopefully that's coming soon and then I could maybe do a video showing you guys me making these muffins see how they turn out but yeah that is everything I think I don't feel like I've missed anything out this time but apologies if I have my little shop that I'm hoping will last me a long time so thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you liked my grocery haul and I, like I said, will leave all the recipes that I mentioned down below in the description box in case you want to try them out for yourself. And if you haven't already, please give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. It would mean a lot to me and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.